Hi, this is Karen O'Brien, and today we're going to be discussing the Flow2D infiltration tools. So we have infiltration calculating and mapping tools that we'll be discussing today. Flow2D uses three types of infiltration. We use the Global Green Amped, I'm sorry, we use Green and Amped, uh, SCS, Curve Number, and Horton Infiltration. So what I'm going to start with is some of the resources for document resources and documentation for these tools. Now, um, if you want to start with a tutorial, the best way to do that is to go to our website. And we have new training materials under the Self-Help Starter Course. So if you haven't already done so, or you want to install Flow2D, and you're not a licensed user, then you can get the Flow2D demo and you'll follow this instructional course to get the Flow2D demo. And then once you've done that, you grab the Self-Help Starter Course. Now, if you're, not, if you're not signed up for the course, when you click on it, you'll just see this, tool, uh, this bar here and you'll need to register for it. So you just click register and you follow that process and then you can log in and take the course. Um, I think instead of doing that, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Well, I don't need to register, but I'm going to sign in. So if I click on the course, I can put my username in and my password. And when I log in, it should take me straight to the course. Now, if you don't, if you log in and it doesn't take you straight to the course, just click the Flow2D icon or click training and go to the starter course. And then you'll see something here to say to enroll. And then once you enroll in the class and start the learning, then you'll see this series of courses, which are exactly the same tutorials that you might see on the Flow2D documentation. The only difference is these are all video tutorials um, and they are, they're, they're, they're broken into smaller chunks. So if you wanted to go to the hydrology and take the lessons for the curve number, Horton or Green Amped, you would get to them right here. Now I would just take the one that is pertinent to your project. Don't, you don't have to take all three of them. And that is the, how you get a, a video tutorial on how to do these mappings. Let's see. Um, we also have new documentation for this uh, version 1.0 of the plugin. So when we release version 1.0, we'll be releasing it with this documentation. It's already mostly finished. Just have a few more um, parts of it to go. And uh, what I've done with this is I've just kind of mm, simplified it and organized it better so that when you click on, say if you wanted to click on the toolbar, then it's gonna cover all of these tools. So for example, Flow2D Project is the first tool. And if you click on Flow2D Project, it will just describe each of these options right here. And then if you wanted to look at the infiltration tools, you would just go to the widgets because infiltration is an, a widget. And then you would click the drop down button under infiltration and that would take you to Green Amped, SCS, and Horton. And once you get on these, they are just going to give you uh, ideas on how to apply the various types of infiltration. So for example, you can create just a simple uniform infiltration just by filling out this box here. Or you might want to apply a spatially variable infiltration using the user layers, and that would be this tool here. Um, or you may want to create, use the infiltration calculators. And we have a new calculator that we uh, released in 2023, and we created this for the Flood Control District of Maricopa County, and it uses their new method that they have outlined in their new hydrology manual. So that's what we're going to be discussing today, and if you need to learn more about that, you can do so here. And then finally, the Green Amp, um, we have a new tool called um, the Green Amp Processor, and it will go onto the Sergio and OSM databases and download soil and land use data automatically for your project area inside the United States. And you can calculate your own infiltration data with green amped parameters. And we'll discuss that in, the, in another video. We'll discuss all of the processors in another video. Um, if you are on the Flow2D technical reference manual, that should be on your computer in your uh, Flow2D documentation in your user public folder and if you go down to the table of contents you'll see that it takes you to the uh, infiltration development tools and it will cover the green and out tools and it will talk about the schematized method and it will talk about the calculators and how it 
and how the processors process each of these parameters for Green and Apt, and it will also cover the Green and Apt 2018 method. It'll cover moving window optimization, SCS curve number, and Horton. So if you want to learn more about the processors, go ahead and come to the Flow2D plug-in technical reference manual. And of course, um, the data input manual is kind of the, the key to Flow2D. It's the most important manual. And it also has a table of contents that should take you straight to the infiltration data file. And in the infiltration data file, you'll see that you have the way that the file is laid out as an ASCII file, and it will label each of the parameters in the file. So if you have a, one of these files opened, you can come into the data input manual and you can find the variable. So infiltration method equal to one. Um, this will be initial abstractions, initial and final saturation, porosity, soil depth, and whether or not you're running an infiltration in your channel. Hydraulic conductivity, um, soil suction, and hydraulic conductivity adjustment factor. And then down on line um, six, wait, sorry, let's get that back up here. We have these F lines or records for infiltration for individual grid elements. And that is your spatially variable data. And so that would be, uh, after your grid element number, you have hydraulic conductivity, soil suction, D theta, initial abstraction, impervious and soil depth in that order. And then if you want to learn more about these individual um, components or parameters or variables, you can come down to the variable description table or there are also some instructional comments that will be linked to the variable descriptions. So the variable description will tell you is it a real number, a, a switch, an integer, or a character. Uh, a range of values might tell you a generic range of values. Could be like from one to the number of grid elements. That's the, let's see, let's find that one right here. That's this guy right here, infiltration INF grid. So if we go down to INF grid, where did that go? The range would be from one to the total number of nodes. You don't have to have all of those nodes, but you can have up to all of those nodes, okay? And so that's how you use the data input manual. Um, and that's that, that, so that goes along with what you need for Flow2D. So you need a tutorial to show you how to do the uh, processing and just some information about the processors and, and what the different tools do and the technical reference manual so you understand the calculations of behind the processors and the data input manual so you understand what the variables are and how they are arranged in the data input manual and that is your Flow2D documentation. Now in addition to that you also have documentation from other agencies. For example, the uh, Green and Amped Hydrology is outlined very excellently in the Maricopa County Drainage Design Manual and they've just released a new one for 2023 and so if you go into this manual you can go and you can review a uh, change log for example they talk about their new um, methodology for the green and amped parameters and they talk about how to set up rainfall and all kinds of stuff are new in this manual and they'll have a table of contents in here somewhere too and I think that if you wanted to do um, infiltration, I believe that's chapter four, rainfall losses. And I think you can just go to the green and amped infiltration and you can learn about how they do the green and amped infiltration equations. And this is kind of directly um, in accordance with what Flow2D does because we adapted our tool to meet their methods. All right, now, if you're interested in the curve number methodology, PC Hydro from Pima County is an excellent reference, but many other counties also have hydrology manuals that cover um, their infiltration and, and rainfall setup. But PC Hydro is a really handy and, and user-friendly guide to learn about curve number modeling. The only problem is that their, uh, their land cover part is really for like desert. So if you have, if you're not in a desert, you might want to use something that's in your own county. And then for Horton, 
the only pe people that I am aware of that use Horton is the county of Denver. So the city and county of Denver uses Horton and um, they have a, a kind of a small hydrologic modeling manual here that they that you can access. I just got this online and you can probably just look up Horton in here and it'll tell you about how they use it. Honestly, I've, I've never really uh, looked at this manual before, so you'll just have to figure it out yourself. I don't really use Horton that often. Okay, now then we come to Nevada. So Arizona and Nevada have this thing where they have mapped out green and amped parameters through the, for the whole state. You can get them for Arizona, Nevada, and I think that's about it. I don't know of any other state that used green and amped, like exclusively, other than Arizona and Nevada. So, but the cool thing about this is not the data. I mean, if you're doing a project in Nevada or Arizona, excellent, you have that data available to you through their website and through their mapping tools. But if you're not, um, you can do something better. Well, I don't know that it's better, it's just different. So what Nevada did is they uh, had a contract with J.E. Fuller to develop this method, this green amped me um, database and assessment method. So they have the methodology for the hydrologic assessment. They have the green and amped parameters, uh, self-help training documentation and hydrologic model testing, which is all excellent documentation to like inform yourself and teach yourself about green and amp. But this is for HEC HMS. Um, but it, it applies to Flow2D2, it applies to any other um, hydrologic model that you want to try. And if you come to some of their documentation, you can see that they will talk about the green and amp parameters, but they'll also talk about the land use parameters. Let me see, let me just look up RTEMP. Whoops, I already did that. Okay, so, and you can see here that initial abstraction and, and our temp practices or are, are for land use are also based on Arizona Department of Transportation and Flood Control District of Maricopa County because they are kind of the, you know, the, they are the ones that developed this methodology. And so J.E. Fuller just took it and brought it into the Nevada database too. Okay, so you can see here that, you know, different types of land use gets different kinds of uh, IA, initial abstraction, percent impervious, and vegetative cover. Um, so that's good information for developing your own data. Now, let's see, that's kind of it. So this is kind of it for documentation. Um, and I think that we can end this video here. So I'll just go ahead and pause this video. And then the next video we'll start, we'll discuss, we'll cover the SCS calculator so we'll go over the, um, the SCS calculator and the Horton calculator in the next video.